Okay, so I just wanted to talk about a couple of the basic moves that we use in baby bells. And if you have ever played on a teapot as a kid or with a kid, um, done a twist at a 60s party, uh, uh, been to a music festival and in the middle of winter stood out in the middle of the field shivering and shaking, waiting for the next band. Okay, then you pretty much pretty much there. Okay, so <laughs> just add in a little bit of uh, intention to those things. Totally, totally got it. All right. So belly dancing, as the name suggests, belly um, using a lot of muscles, and a lot of them get driven just by um, the abs and specifically the um, obliques, that's what these things are called. All right, so side muscles, okay. Um, all right, so first things first, hip, vertical hip slides, all right. My knees are bending and straightening, okay. Checking the feet over me, still engaged. All right, I'm squeezing on the side, to pull my hip up. Squeezing on the opposite side to pull that hip up. This one relaxes. So as I'm squeezing one side, the opposite side relaxes. As I'm squeezing the other side, the other side relaxes. Okay. So if you can imagine, wait, let's match it up. There we go. Your pelvic girdle is like a seesaw. Alright, one up, one down, one forward, one back, or well, I mean the whole thing forward, the whole thing back. Okay. Um, so squeezing at the obliques, knees are powering the piston type motion, all right? Horizontal slides, on the other hand, my knees are going to stay out of it, all right? I'm still using my obliques, a little bit more into the hip and the leg muscles with this one. Coming back to forward, yeah. So this one works a little bit opposite because the, the piston hips, same side, I'm going to squeeze. This one, if I want my hip to go that way, I'm going to squeeze on this side. If I want my hip to go that way, I'm going to squeeze on this side. All right, the opposite. And when I'm squeezing one side, same thing, relaxing on the other side. Squeeze, relax. All right. Knees stay out of it, keeping the move level, as level as possible anyway. Right. This one is helpful if you actually hold your ribcage, like with our posture video, just so that you know, <clears throat> excuse me, what's what. Because it's essentially the same muscles that you're using to work the ribcage slide. Okay. The only difference being is that when you are doing your hip slide, you're holding your chest still, chest and shoulders, right? When you're doing your ribcage slide, you're doing, I mean, you're holding your hips still, okay? So when you are doing this one for the first time, I know I battled with it a bit when I first started belly dancing. I still do, now and again. <laughs> Watch myself in videos and go, hmm, what's going on? Like everything's moving at the same time. All right, but just hold yourself. All right, so if we're doing ribcage slides, hold your hips. But not, I'm not using that to like push my ribs side to side, but just so that I know which part of me is moving and which part is stationary. Okay, same thing with the ribs. Holding your ribs in place. And if you've got a mirror, it's helpful to watch yourself in the mirror or record yourself and then watch the playback. But the mirror is helpful um, better than video because then it's like, Real-time adjustments, right? Okay. Right. So your hip slide and your rib slide using the obliques. Okay. Um, the other thing using the obliques, and a little bit more into the muscles here on the back, is your twist. All right. So I'm still I'm thinking about pulling on my belly here. I'm not pulling, engaging, contracting the side to pull that hip forward. Really, and I'm. On the back as well. Okay, so it's like that opposite pulling the belly forward, the hip on this side, and pulling this one back at the back, the opposite. 
pulling this one forward and pulling from the back down my back okay but like i said if you've ever been to a 60s party and you've done the twist then you know this one okay the thing to remember with this one is keeping your knees out of it again and letting your hips swivel twist in a level um, motion we don't want to be lifting up unless it's like fully intentional but for our purposes here flat flat twist right forward and back i want to think about engaging my low belly and then i'm just going to release it back engaging low belly and release there's a little bit of um well a lot of support actually <laughs> happening from my low back all right but i want to concentrate my my attention um, more on the low belly and think about pulling the pelvis forward and then relaxing to release it back to just past neutral all right pulling it forward and releasing neutral be sure to not like push forward with your butt all right that's not what we want here we want a pull from the low belly okay chest I'm going to lift my chest using the muscles in my shoulders and my upper back and then I'm going to use my upper abs, the diaphragm, a big one that runs just under your ribcage to pull down. So I'm going up and down. You can see that. Up and down. So the upper back and the upper abs. Upper back, upper abs. So working the pelvis is using the low back and the low abs makes sense chest is using upper back and upper abs okay um the thing to bear in mind with your chest lift and drop is that your shoulders don't get too involved um i find sometimes when i get a little bit lazy with my dance practice uh, I, well, I think i just hunch normally office workers oh, this is like the normal posture so standing like this is a little bit oh god what are you trying to do okay so just keeping the shoulders, they're going to move a little bit, but it's not like a rounding and like splaying kind of action. The other thing to bear in mind as well that even though we're using our back muscles, um, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together, you can't really see it, but <clears throat> I want to use my arms to push my chest up. Okay, so it's coming completely from the back muscles. And the abs, the back, and the abs. One last thing with chest lift and drops, which is very easy to get into, but please, please, please don't, is joining the breath with the motion. So I don't want to be thinking about, okay, because when we start getting a little bit faster with this one, I don't want anybody to hyperventilate or anything like that. Okay, so to recap, what have we done? Vertical hip slides, bending and straightening of the knee, squeezing and releasing, well, squeezing on the same side, releasing on the opposite side. Horizontal hip slides, knees stay out of it, right? And it's the opposite side that I'm squeezing, right? Hip twist. Pulling the hip forward, pulling the hip forward, keeping the knees out of it so that it stays flat. Alright, ribcage slides, making sure that the hips are stable. Okay, so checking with your posture, look really engaged, standing nice and tall, and straight. Alright, so this one is opposite as well. If I want to go that way, I'm squeezing on this side. And then, last but not least, up. Upper back, upper abs, upper back, upper abs. So lift and drop the chest. And then I'm thinking about low belly, low back, low belly. Well, just releasing the belly actually. Release. I mean, engage and then release. Okay, your pelvis full, forward and back. And that is pretty much all I think I need to say about because we're going to be using these basic moves to build movements. Alright, so see you in the next video.